Good afternoon. Welcome to this afternoon's webinar from EcoProd. I'm just going to give this a few seconds to allow all of our attendees uh, to join from our waiting room and get into the live presentation. It does take a few seconds so that we can get everybody coming over. Uh, I can see that we've got people joining now. Okay, that's excellent. See, that's working fine. Okay, let's make a start. So this afternoon's uh, webinar, we're talking about why choose waterless urinals for your washroom. Um, it's an EcoProd webinar in conjunction with our partners, Euromat. So you will have two presenters today. Um, before we get kind of going with the meat of the presentation, a few sort of housekeeping points. We are recording today's session and that's so that we can get a link out to you once the session is over so that you can watch that back um, and share that with any colleagues or other interested parties if you would like. There'll also be an opportunity when we send that round for you to download a copy of the slides so all of the materials we're using, any links and things like that will all be um, available to you after the session is finished. Um, you'll notice that your lines are all muted as you join so whilst you can hear us and see us we can't hear or see you. Um, but you can still ask questions. If you just kind of hover your cursor over the bottom of the Zoom control panel, there's a little Q&A function there. Please send any questions over in that Q&A um, as they occur to you. And then when we get to the end of the presentation, I will ask some of those live of, of our presenters. So a few introductions. Um, my name is, oh no, the agenda, sorry. <laughs> the agenda, you will have seen this when you uh, had your invitation when you booked. Um, we're going to be talking about the benefits of waterless urinals, how they work. This is the number one question that we get asked when we're talking to people about this technology. Uh, we're going to be talking about the return on investment and how soon you know, these things can pay for themselves, uh, the water saving benefits and the other knock-on environmental benefits that come from these installation of these technologies. Um, the implications for maintenance and cleaning, lowering maintenance costs, um, how that these can offer a more pleasant washroom experience and then a little bit of a chat about you know what's involved with installation and the, and the cleaning and maintenance and so on. So now a few introductions. My name is Rachel. I'm on the business development team here at EcoProd. I'm mostly in the background today, fielding questions, making sure people are logged in correctly. So uh, I'll be the one that's uh, covering all of the sort of chat and the Q&A. Two main presenters today. Uh, we have Marcel, uh, but first I'm going to um, hand over to you, Marcus, to take this piece. Thank you, Rachel, and I'd like to say good afternoon to everyone in the audience who's joined us for this webinar. Before I introduce Marcel Naplin from Euromap, I would just like to give everybody in the audience a bit of background about EcoProd. So, the concept of EcoProd, so ecological and economical products, is what it stands for, evolved during 2006, where I personally could see a need for the issues of water and energy saving within commercial washrooms to be addressed. I'm actually a mechanical engineer by trade and training and have about 30 plus years experience in the industry. Uh, the purpose of this webinar is to convey that we need to look seriously at our washroom environments and particularly water, water usage. For those of us in facility management, we have a duty of care to advise best practice. Along with that, there is the need to understand the responsibilities upon us for water management, uh, and that means water quality and control as well. We must reduce the water footprint within our organizations, it's imperative. And personally ourselves in our own personal lives, we should be doing everything we can to reduce the current UK average of 140 liters per day to under 100 liters at least with immediate effect. It's not surprising that rainfall patterns have changed considerably in recent years. And this trend coupled with population and urban development especially in London and the Southeast where we're based, means that the water supply network is very challenged and we're seeing a trend of this increasing. But the good news is that we can all do something about it. And that means introducing water saving solutions, which is why we're partnering with our colleagues at Euromat and this webinar. 
We work very closely with the team at Euromat and have done for many years now. And they often select us as one of their partners to trial new products here in the UK region, uh, thus enabling us to deliver very constructive feedback and knowledge in view of product development. So I'd now like to hand over to you, Marcel, to give us the core of the presentation. Thank you very much, Marcus and Rachel. Also, good afternoon to everyone from my side here live from Zurich, Switzerland. Welcome to our webinar, Why Choose Waterless Urinals for Your Washroom. My name is Marcel Netflin. I am a member of the executive board of Jurimat Schweiz AG. I am in charge for marketing and sales and business development at the company, and I have been working for Jurimat uh, since 20 years. I would like to thank Markus and his team for organizing this webinar. It's, as Markus said, it's a, it's a vital subject. It's a very uh, uh, interesting subject as well. Uh, I'm very delighted to show you solutions today, uh, how to save water in your organizations. Our company, Yuri Matschweizoge, is a leading manufacturer uh, of eco-friendly and waterless urinals. We do development, uh, construction, marketing, and sales all out of Switzerland in Zurich. Uh, our waterless urinals have become widely accepted and ensure perfect hygiene, environmental uh, protection in thousands of men's toilets uh, around the world. Our company is a small and medium-sized company with Swiss origin. Offices uh, we have in Switzerland and Germany. As said, we are more than 20 years in the business. So we have a lot of experience in this field. Um, we do export our products in more than 40 countries. Our production is CO2 neutral for most of the products. And what we offer uh, are worldwide patented technologies um, in terms of water savings. The benefits of waterless urinals. Annual savings of 100,000 liters of drinking water per ur urinal and per year. This is uh, what, what we can promise. Uh, it's definitely a short return on investment depending on, on uh, the water cost. It can be very, very short even. We come to that later. It's an easy to retrofit solution. Any water flushed urinal can be replaced by a waterless urinal quickly and easily. Lower cleaning and maintenance costs it's another important argument which speaks for our products. And it's 100% eco-friendly. No chemicals are involved at all. Urimat can also lower carbon footprint. We calculate about 400 grams of CO2 saved by one cubic meter water, which is saved. And every organization who chooses uh, waterless urinals has a strong environmental mission statement they can also use. Just on that point there, Marcel, about lowering the carbon footprint, we've actually had an update here in the UK around the non-delivery of water saved. And I can, I can actually give some more accurate numbers on that for the UK region, which, we've, um, which have been submitted to us by Professor Jacob Tompkins of the water retail company. Uh, that that number has been updated because there's um, there's been some addition in terms of the cost of tram transportation in CO2. So we can update the audience on those numbers specifically for the UK region, if that helps. Excellent. That's very interesting. Thanks. So we can go to the next slide, Marcus. The, the chart you see here is our ecological environmental system of Urimat. It consists four main points. Number one is the high-tech polycarbonate bowl. Uh, we have in number two, the unique odor trap technology with integrated cleaning system. An important part of the solution is also the cleaning. We offer microbiological cleaning, which is 100% ecological as well. And the circle, closes with a financial possibility, which can even make a water saving solution for free if used as a advertising panel, for example. 
we offer mainly two materials of bowls. Let's speak about the bowls at first. The high-tech polycarbonate bowls, they are sanitary, uh, they are injection molded plastic bowls. It's extremely resilient and makes urimat, waterless urinals shatterproof. So it's used a lot in, 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 in stadia, in, in, in other um, uh, places uh, where you need very resilient products. The, the urinal is very lightweight, it's 4.2 kilograms, make it, ex making it extremely easy to install and to ship. The insulating effect of the high-tech polycarbonate prevents any residue on the surface. The non-porous surface prevents the growth of bacteria and development of odors, which guarantees absolute hygiene. Optionally, as mentioned, they come with advertising displays, either static um, or with uh, the latest uh, technology, Wi-Fi video, um, to place the right message at the right time via internet. Then we have the ceramic bowls. They're a little bit heavier, 18 kilo to 21 kilo, depending the model. They are made from a high quality, durable ceramic material. The special surface prevents residue as well as bacteria growth and the development of odors. Now we come to the, to the heart and the core piece of the whole system, which is the active track technology. Urimat waterless urinals work with an MB active trap. MB stands for microbiological. The MB active trap is an odor trap system based on a vertical membrane technology. The vertical membrane technology guarantees that odors are completely sealed away and is able to withstand both negative and positive pressures. It is impossible for gases from the sewage system to escape. The Urimat MB active trap collects the urine and channels it into the waste pipe without flushing, while at the same time sealing in any odors. Urine is channeled via vertical membrane straight into the sewage system. Every MB active trap includes a cleaning block. Above the membrane, there is a microbiological cleaning block called MB active cube, which prevents buildup of deposits both inside the odor seal. Uh, as soon as uh, uh, the odor seal ends in the waste pipe itself, as soon as fluid stops flowing through the membrane, it automatically forms an airtight seal. What's also unique to our system is that we have a life cycle indicator. When the MB active trap needs to be changed, the life cycle indicator will let you know. After the MB active cube has been dissolved, the red surface below the transparent cover indicates that the MB active trap needs to be replaced. As you see on the pictures, a new, a new uh, trap on the left, 50% used as soon as it's um, it has to be changed, the red sieve is shining through. We also uh, have uh, developed a system which makes the maintenance more easy for the operators. So we launched a non-return valve uh, about two years ago. The patented, patented non-return valve prevents drain odors from escaping when the MB, MB active trap is removed. So the integrated valve closes automatically when the MB active trap is removed, keeping washrooms and facilities free of drain odors even during maintenance work. You see, it's quite, it's quite a key point that um, Marcel. Yeah. New non-return valve technology because you can carry out all the maintenance without any odor escaping. Exactly. You see the red flaps which fl which come up as soon as the uh, the odor trap is removed. So we close we close the system to the canalization. That's that's unique in the waterless industry. Important subject return on investment. Ecological products are only as good 
as they can also be economical. So we have a good example here with Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, Tottenham Hotspur uh, has installed um, around 850, correct me if I'm wrong, Marcus, um, 860 urinals. Yeah, just over, yeah. Yeah, right. more than 800 urinals. Uh, so they have a saving of 50,000 liters per urinal and year. So we have 42 million 500,000 liters water saved per year in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. They work, they have a water tariff in Tottenham of two pounds 30 by cube meter, which uh, amounts to a total annual saving of 97,750 uh, 97, pounds a year. Also an impressive figure, the 17,000 kilogram of CO2 reduction, which even is a little higher now, Marcus, if you update later yes. on with the CO2. Yeah, it is, it is slightly, yeah, it is slightly higher now. We've got yeah. more, more up-to-date industry recognized formula to work from. So the return on investment, generally speaking, can be as low as 4.5 months till up to 14 months. That's about an average. And again, Tottenham, 97,000, uh, almost 100,000 pounds saved a year just by the simple decision to install waterless urinals in a new stadium. That's quite impressive. Another interesting example, a global soft drinks company based in Norfolk saved over 15,000 pounds per year and achieved payback in only 4.5 months. I think that's, that's the record. That's <laughs> a very short payback. The company was using over 7.8 million liters of water per year for flushing urinals, costing over 15,600 pounds per year in water charges. The supply of urinals cost 3,417 pounds. Installation cost 1,990 pounds. A year's maintenance cost is calculated to 452 pounds. So the, cost, the total cost of this project in year one was 5,859 uh, pounds. By year two, the cost was only 452 pounds in maintenance charges with a saving of over 15,600 pounds in annual water charges. So this resulted to a payback on 13 waterless urinals, including installation and yearly maintenance of 4.5 months only. In addition, the water saving of 7.8 million liters per year equates to a reduction of 1,366 kilograms of CO2 emissions. So it's another nice example how waterless urinals work economically. Return on investment has also to do with our media solution, which is included in all of our polycarbonate bowls. We offer an advertising medium with a wide reach in a clearly defined target group, which dynamically delivers real-time advertising messages to your customers via the internet. This option is called Visutal, um, how it is promoted in, in the UK. So Marcus will have more information about that if you ask him uh, later. Advertising income can, of course, increase uh, or lower, lower the the payback. The screens can be used to promote your own products and events or services as well as carrying independent paid for advertising, which additionally improves your return on investment. We have networks running in Switzerland on Wi-Fi urinals, in cinemas, in, in uh, highway restaurants, where advertisers can place their messages and the operators not only save money, they also earn money with the urine. We've got a few, we've got a few networks running here in the UK, Marcel. Typically, we're finding that corporate uh, organizations use it for their own internal personal messaging or, or, or even sort of personal hygiene messages as well. But it's it, the, the, um, the idea is expanding. Yeah. Same here. Also, environmental messages uh, are placed a lot. Um, also, doing good things and talk about it 
via the product in, with the integrated screen is very popular here as well. Yeah. The water saving benefits. Reduction of cost, waterless urinals drastically reduce your water bill, as we have seen. Safety and health, are more, more important than ever. Waterless urinals have no push button to activate the flush and improve the safety of your customers and employees with a 100% contactless operation. No more blockages with the installation of waterless urinals. Operators can lower their maintenance cost. There are no more waste pipe blockages as without water flushing. There is no buildup of limescale deposits in the pipes. As a result, there are no more overflowing urinals. I have a nice testimonial after about that uh, to show you from a customer in Switzerland. Also improved hygiene. Waterless urinals improve hygiene in the washroom. With the absence of water, there are less bacteria which can develop. Studies have shown that there are less colony forming uh, units found in waterless urinals compared to water flushed urinals. As water is life and there is life, there is more bacteria. So it makes, it makes actually sense, even though for so, sometimes it's hard to believe. You've actually got um, some documentation on that uh, fact, haven't you, Marcel? Yes, yes, there are some studies um, available uh, which were done. Then if you want to get credits for LEED or BREAM, uh, green building is a big subject. Waterless urinals generate points for LEED and BREAM and certifications and help to get credits to get your, your, your certifications for your, for your building. This is the one, one testimonial, Outer Grill, Switzerland. They have around 50 waterless urinals and the head of maintenance and facility states here uh, that it's very positive reflected on cost since they have urimat inside. And since the waterless urinals were installed, we have had practically no blockages in our drains. And this is a big part of the cost which can be actually saved. It's not only the water, but I think what's going on behind the wall is also solved by installing waterless urinals and a considerable amount of cost can be reduced. The saving benefits can be calculated on our website. I don't know, Mark, you, Mark, you have it on your website as well, Marcus, am I right? Yes, we do, correct. So on the EcoProd website, you'll find uh, the calculator, so you can put in your, your currency, your all the parameters which are important, such as sewage and water cost, number of male employees, uh, the water flow per flush, and it will calculate your saving, it will calculate uh, the monetary saving, but also the water saving, and it will also calculate the CO2 reduction, um, which can be achieved. So it's a nice tool to play around with. Other environmental benefits. So our main goal is to have a 100% eco-friendly product, not only for, for the savings. The savings is obvious. It's the 100,000 liters in average uh, Urimat can save. Um, but uh, environmentally also, uh, the cleaning is a big subject. And MB Active Cleaner is label free and allows to clean urinals with the use of hazardous and harmful chemicals. I come to that point later more in more detail. Then we lower the carbon footprint as we have discussed and the products if, chose, if you choose a, a polycarbonate bowl or carbon neutral uh, produced, um, which is a big benefit as well. Other environmental benefits besides that are the emissions. Urimat waterless urinals produce less emissions in transportation due to the lightweight polycarbonate construction. The urinals are stackable and are shipped in boxes by two pieces. So we can cut in half transportation costs uh, and it needs less uh, effort to transport. We also ship 20 times less liquids around if we deliver and the active cleaner as the product comes concentrated and has to be diluted one in 20 with water before use.
Let's talk about the maintenance and cleaning costs. You, bottleless urinals are much easier and quicker uh, to clean compared to traditional water flushed urinals, as there are no edges and flushing rings where bacteria and lime scale can develop. No lime scale buildup. With waterless urinals, there are no more waste pipe blockages. As without water flushing, there is no buildup of lime scale deposits in the pipes. As a result, there are no more overflowing urinals. Considerable costs are saved due to clear pipes. This is actually an interesting argument. The highway chain Marche from a moving pick group in Switzerland, one of the main reasons they, cho they chose Urimat was also uh, to eliminate the clocking of the pipes. It's a, the, because, because it was very uh, costly to clear the pipes on an annual basis. No more broken electric parts with waterless urinals from Urimat. There are no more broken flush sensors, which are costly and have to be replaced. Equally, no batteries, of course, have to be replaced. As in waterless urinals, there is no flush sensor and no electricity involved. That's quite a key point that, um, that we find here in the UK, Marcel, is that typically if there's not PPM on existing flush control that's monitored very closely and well, the issue of batteries and so on and so forth can be very problematic for facilities managers. Absolutely, same here. Not only cost, it has the, the whole package is not, is not um, uh, it, it's, it's for many people a problem here as well. So this is a testimonial of Micro Switzerland. That's the biggest retailer. It's equivalent to maybe Tesco in the UK. Uh, it's, uh, a big, uh, it's the biggest retailer. They work with us for 20 years now with over 100, uh, 100 urinals from Urimat installed. And they also say there is no longer any urine scale in the drains, which reduces the maintenance costs. That's what the head of facility manager of Migros says. Um, both the hygiene and air quality in our men's toilets have improved in general. So also here in terms of hygiene, waterless urinals are uh, more hygiene than traditional water flushed ones. Offering users a pleasanter washroom environment. Yeah, people need to talk more about the washroom. It's, it's, uh, it's an important place. It's an important area of every restaurant or every business or every, every location in general. So it's more important than ever that companies are seen to be environmentally friendly. In the washroom area, your organization can make significant improvements to become more ecological. Uh, and show your green credentials to the public. So it can be really used as a, as a powerful instrument as well to show what your business is doing for the environment. What are the aspects today's public washrooms have to meet? Cleanliness and hygiene is key, of course, but washrooms also need to be functional and well-maintained and also have to meet the expectations uh, of your customers and employees in terms of ecology and sustainability. So it's a duty, it's, it's, it's a must have for, for companies today to be up to date in the environmentally friendliness of how to, to handle a toilet, in general, the whole business. Opportunity, the washroom offers significant opportunities for your organization to be perceived as eco-friendly and environmentally conscious with relatively easy measures. So with our 20 or in your case, EcoProds 20 years experience, we can offer consultations on how to make your washroom greener by saving water and energy, reduce your waste and lower your carbon footprint and also making it, making it even uh, safer, which is a more important subject than ever, safety in the toilets. Also here, we have solutions. What's involved in, in installing waterless urinals? The good news is 
Waterless urinals are easy to install, very easy. Due to the absence of flush control sensors, there is no electricity needed except for the models with LCD screens or self-cleaning function. The, the installation time is, is very short. Urimat waterless urinals are installed in less than 20 minutes. This is less than half of the time used for the installation of traditional water flushed urinals. Urimat can be installed everywhere. Waterless urinals in general can be installed everywhere and are always connected to the existing drain pipe. So no special measures have to be undertaken to install them. We use the same drain pipe. We, in order to make installation easier, we also offer a, a mounting frame for an easy installation with this element uh, for new installations and renovations. It, it makes it more easy to install. How to clean and maintain waterless urinals? MB Active Cleaner. For the cleaning of waterless urinals, we re recommend our MB Active Cleaner, which is a special microbiological cleaning agent for cleaning and removing odors. MB Active Cleaner is 100% eco friendly. It works on a microbiological basis without any environmentally harmful or hazardous substances. It's skin friendly. And the Active Cleaner is dermatologically tested for skin friendliness and rated as very good. As you see on the right side, uh, the original Dermatest proves that. Eliminating bad odors. And the Active Cleaner eliminates the bad odors caused when organic matter decomposes. It is particularly well suited for maintenance, cleaning and odor elimination in heavily used washrooms and sanitary facilities. We've actually got a number of clients here in the UK, Marcel, that use the MB Active Cleaner for the whole of the washroom. Exactly, because it's, we have clients in Switzerland, not only for whole of the washroom, we have communities, uh, city halls, they use the cleaner for their whole buildings. And because ecological cleaning is a very, very important subject nowadays, especially also the friendliness, skin friendliness and non-hazardous material for the employees. Yeah, we've actually, has, we've actually got a transport company that use it to clean their vehicles as well. Yeah. Because they, they find their vehicles stay cleaner longer. It's interesting, Marcus, because originally we developed the cleaner to maintain and to clean the urinals themselves. But we sneaked out of the urinal to the other areas and there is really a lot of companies using it as their general cleaning agent, which is uh, very interesting. Value for money, this is maybe another reason why people use it. It's a very high value for money and the active cleaner is highly concentrated and extremely economical. So in a nutshell, microorganic cleaning, this is how to clean waterless urinals, pH neutral, biological and sustainable, and the active cleaner contains microorganisms that penetrate the pores and destroy any odors caused by uh, organic residues deposited there, leaving a pleasant and lasting freshness. Used daily, it prevents odors from developing because it's an active cleaner. We call it MB Active because it stays active after spraying it in. So regular use helps to neutralize odors and prevents the development of new odors. Under the subject, how to clean and maintain waterless urinals, we came up with a world's first, with a real innovation, with Urimat CS. CS stands for cleaning system. With our new model Urimat CS, we have launched the world's first self-cleaning waterless urinal, which delivers a new hygiene standard. The Urimat CS is fully automated, individually programmable. As there are cleaning intervals, which can be programmed to your needs and helps to save both time and money. It's fully automated, 
with the one of a kind Urimat cleaning system, operators have permanently predictable amount of cleaning work, which can be individually programmed, which not only shortens the amount of work required, it protects all, as well the drain pipes, because it's always constantly cleaning agent sprayed into the bowl, which helps to break down organic matter. It's cheaper than conventional urinals. Our customers also save considerable costs using this environmental friendly system, which uses no water whatsoever. This ultimately makes Urimat CS cheaper in operation than conventional urinals. So I think we're about almost in time. Uh, last point. There are some, some references. You can check on our website or also better go to EcoProt's website for the UK. You can check out the number of uh, references on our, our website. In virtually every industry, we can name prestigious references uh, that place their confidence in our system around the world and every day. Uh, the fast growing number of these references prove that waterless urinals in public places uh, and in general have become indispensable. And it will be really, uh, our vision of course is to abandon the water from the urinals on a worldwide basis. We, we, we work since 20 years uh, to do this and with success, more and more people, they they benefit from the system ecologically, but also economically. So it's a win-win-win for the environment, for, for your pocket, for the, for the, for the purse, <laughs> as well for the, for the uh, overall, overall cost. And you can go through these um, references, or we can send you a, a reference book if you want or EcoProt can give you more information about the, the UK references later. So I'd like to thank you very much for your interest in this, in this webinar uh, and your attention. And if you want, uh, if you want to, to make a statement, I can recommend you to choose your remote as well for your operation. And we come now to uh, the Q and A's. I will pass back to, to Rachel and thanks again for, for, your, for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I do have some questions that have come in. If anyone else would like to ask any questions, please now is a good time to pop them in on the Q&A. So I've got two, a couple of questions about blockages. So I know you talked about this, but uh, a couple of people concerned about um, when using waterless urinals, the buildup in pipes and the buildup of uric acid. Could you, Mar Marcus, perhaps you could just talk a little bit about more about that and about the science there? Yeah, sure, Rachel. It's, it's a very good question. You, with waterless urinals, you still get uric acid deposits um, falling out of the urine. That is just a process that you can't stop. The MB Active Cleaner will actually break that uric acid down organically without creating any odor, which is the purpose of the MB Active Cleaner and its unique formula. The water urinals from Euromat will need to be maintained and need to be maintained in accordance with the footfall of their use. So typically um, we find the persons that neglect their cleaning, they will get a buildup of uric acid in their waste pipe work. Also, they need to go through the correct cleaning procedure when they try and change the MB active trap because the content in the instructions explains that you need to use that opportunity when you're changing the MB active trap to clear, make sure or clear and clean the direct area of waste pipe work connected to the, to the urinal. I hope that helps answer the question. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Um... How often do MB traps need to be changed? Uh, yeah, very good question. It comes down to the footfall of the washroom. We say typically 
between four to six months, typically. Very high footfall locations like fast food chains, motorway services, uh, airports, etc. That might be reduced to three months. And then likewise, I'll oh, take take the Tottenham Stadium. You would think uh, that because of the type of operation and the volume of personnel attending that stadium, that they would be changing those traps more frequently. They're not. They're doing them once a year. It's because there's very high concentrated footfall over a lim limited period of time. So I think that probably helps give a picture as to what you can expect. I would say that in a in a corporate offices that you're going to get six months out of an MB active trap typically. Okay, I've got some follow on questions from that. So I've got somebody says I worked out annual maintenance is around 35 pounds a toilet, a, a urinal. Uh, what are these costs made up of on average? And how do you and how often do you need to change the cleaning block? And what happens if you don't change it? Okay, <laughs> three, three and one there. Um, right, last one, what happens if you don't change it? You'll get odour and you possibly might get blockages because the maintenance regime isn't in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendation. The actual MB Active Trap block is complete and integral to the MB Active Trap as a whole unit. So you're replacing the whole component. Um, as to costs, again, it comes down to the footfall of the washroom, which is going to dictate the longevity of the trap and also how frequently your urinals require cleaning during any 24 hours. I mean, if you've got a corporate office or a dentist surgery or a doctor surgery or something like that, or a village hall, your maintenance costs are going to be very reduced compared to an operation that's running 24 seven. I mean, we're, we've got Euromat and a number of manufacturing plants here in the UK and they're running shifts through 24 hours. And so, you need to remember their operation is twice the level of your average organization. So it's all, everyone needs to make sure they do their numbers in context with the organization that they're operating and looking after. Okay, um, I had a, a similar question that was kind of a, 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 an overlap of that, but a follow on from that was, do you need to train the cleaners? Yes, you do. Um, Eurom have a very good system in Switzerland and other countries in Europe. We do likewise here in EcoProd in the UK. Every after every installation, the key personnel are trained. We have very instructive training videos available as well for all aspects of the cleaning and maintenance of the Euromat technology. And we also do refresher courses as well, which we find people like and you get buy-in from all of the janitors in any uh, given operation. And we always say, look, if you're an FM uh, manager, bring the team together, look at the videos, look at the content, and give everyone a refresher course. Um, I mean, we're all used to training and retraining and uh, getting sort of um, updates on other operations. And this would just be part of that uh, management level sort of um, desire that the team are kept up to speed so that the whole organization is operating smoothly and correctly. Mm. And they, they, people need to teach their new cleaners not to empty their buckets down the urinals. Oh yes, exactly. Yes. Which is a thing that happens. Um, uh, a follow on from that, who changes the trap? Is it the cleaner, the facilities manager or someone else? Okay, good question, all three. So you take our customer base, here in the UK, we have some clients that have a service contract uh, managed by engineers on behalf of EcoProd. We've got FM teams that manage them on sites, and we've got cleaners that actually change the traps for other clients. So it, it comes down to the organization's operation. You need to remember there's no harmful content um, in any of the components. And we've got a lot of customers here in the UK where the highest percent, percentage of the janitorial staff are ladies and they have no problem with uh, changing the MV Active Traps in the Euromat technology. 
Uh, right, thank you. Um, uh, similar, who does, who do you use for installs? Can business facilities managers do it themselves? Yeah, I think Marcel's really touched on that in his presentation that the installation is simple and straightforward. Uh, if you need to just follow the guidelines that we produce for installation, every product that goes out of our distribution here from EcoProd has installation instructions with it. And our team in the office follow up with everybody afterwards anyway to make sure the installation has been carried out correctly. Okay, thank you. Um, are there options like this for WCs? <laughs> um, yes, there are. Can I, I'd like to take that question offline if I may. Yeah. Because there's a number of things afoot at the moment in terms of the WC industry here in the UK. There's, yeah, I'd like that question to be sort of maybe answered in an email exchange, if that's all right, Rachel. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get the context of what's behind the, behind the question so that I can answer it correctly and effectively. But yeah, no, the whole, the whole WC industry is going through a radical uh, review of its operation. Um, and that's really been uh, that's really been driven by most of the manufacturers and a, and a demand for this water footprint reduction. Yes. OK, thank you. Um, our facilities managers refuse to install waterless urinals because they smell. How can you help me persuade them? <laughs> OK, um, well, that question is actually a good news, bad news scenario for us representing the Euromat technology here in the UK. We would have a lot of clients who would have had retrofit uh, inserts fitted where someone's just simply turned the water off and changed the inserts in the urinals. There's not really been a proper PPM operation put in place or engagement with janitorial staff for the product to be maintained. And so sure, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna give odor. Um, that just is a fact. You can't get away from that problem. But I always say, whatever product you're installing, if you haven't got uh, a proper maintenance program in place and you don't care about your washroom or your washroom environment, then um, you don't want your remote either because you're not going to look after it. Okay. I would say that we have some really good documents and waterless urinals guides for that person. Um, which I can send to them, which may help. And if you can persuade your facilities manager to come and talk to us, uh, we can show them the product and talk to them about how it works and see if we can help persuade them as well. Or, tr or trial it, trial the product in the washroom. Yeah. yeah. All our clients would have started with a trial in one washroom. Yeah. Yeah, where they measure the effectiveness and prove that it doesn't smell, but also perhaps do some water meter trials where they measure exactly how much water they're saving as well, so that they can oh, do yeah. the ROI for the business. Yeah, or take take Spurs Stadium. They trialed in the old White Hart Lane Stadium for a whole season, and the verdict was to the stadium manager from the cleaning and maintenance contractor is these urinals are easier to clean and maintain and they actually cut open all the waste pipe work at the end of that season, and there wasn't a single deposit in any of the waste pipe work. Uh, interesting to this point, we've had uh, the Zurich uh, Ice Rink Stadium, the very, uh, with 174 urinals. They also wanted to check the deposits in the pipes. So what we've done, we went in with the pipe and filmed the situation then they were testing for three to six, no, six months testing. And we went back in with the camera and the result was convincing. So they immediately said, let's retrofit the whole stadium because uh, it was an, an immense uh, um, difference from the water flushed urinal situation to the waterless uh, uh, situation. So we were filming and they were testing and they were convinced. and believed what we always say, but they wanted also to, to trial it. Yeah, that's interesting, Marcel. Mm, thank you. Um, I've got one more, I think. 
at the moment. Uh, where is the product manufactured? Over to you, Marcel. Well, mainly it's a Swiss product. It's um, it's a Swiss. Definitely everything we develop and engineer in Switzerland. The polycarbonate bowls they are uh, produced in Switzerland, so it's a fully full full Swiss production. Um, there are components uh, such as MB traps. They come from Europe, mainly from Germany, as well as the cleaning agents. So it's a Swiss. Uh, European uh, production or for, for the products. Wonderful, thank you. I don't think that I have got any more that have come through. I'm just double checking all the bits. No, I haven't got any more that have come through. So I think we will wrap up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, to you. everybody who attended. As I said at the beginning, we'll get you an email later today that's got um, a link to the video recording, but also to the slides. If you have got any more questions that we that we didn't cover that you haven't been able to ask, please do drop us a line. You can use this email address on the screen here and we will get straight back to you or arrange a call or something like that for you. Uh, thank you very much to Marcus and to Marcel for your Q&A and your presentations. And we hope to see you all on another session sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Marcel. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, guys.